a Xenoblade Storm is coming. Yes, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is finally is having a direct this Tuesday. The question is, where are they going to show? So this is Top Gamer 007 and today I'm going to share my predictions of the Xenoblade Direct because why not? The question is, why Nintendo is making a dedicated Xenoblade Direct? It's kind of unexpected because they went to great detail in the last Direct and what Nintendo is going to show in this Direct? Most likely they're gonna go over everything we know, like probably like Rex backstory and stuff. Um, probably gonna have like extra story cutscenes we we never seen before. Probably gonna spoil the first two hours of the game. I hope nothing more than that. It's still unknown what it exactly is. The first few hours of the game is. They're probably gonna spoil the whole scene of Rex meet Pyra. We still have cuts of that. Gameplay, we don't have the straight cutscene of that. Even how Rex meet Nina and Tora, those are his party members. And why work together and what are their motives? I I don't know. Maybe they're Rex childhood friends or they're criminals like Rex and they're forced to work together. I expect those answers in this direct. Most likely they're going to explain the combat in a more simpler and timely fashion because all the the E3 coverage and the Gamescom, they take forever to explain the combat. That includes the basic combat that you can't move to attack like the other Xenoblade games, the basic arts or regular arts I call it, and elemental arts, the complex stuff that is still confusing and I most likely will completely understand by the time I touch that game in December 1st. If I'm stretching it, they might introduce something new things to the combat. Maybe like how they Nintendo introduced capture from Mario Odyssey and it was unexpected. Maybe gonna in introduce something that's unexpected for a Xenoblade game in there. But that, I'm stretching it. Maybe they could explain the different status effects that could um, affect your party members and you and Rex, because obviously you're gonna switch party members. They probably go into greater detail in Rare Blades. Maybe they're going to show all the Rare Blades on the Japanese Xenoblade Twitter account. Um, but for the Western audience. So it's going to explain all the Western... Basically everything to the Western audience. The weird thing is that I was looking online. And normally Nintendo will tell you how long is the Direct. But it's not there. And I don't know why. That's never really happened really. Um, before and let, I'm gonna do a, like a prediction how long I think the direct will be and I if I'm stretching it I believe it's gonna be 25 to 30 minutes long, but this is the stretching it But because it takes a long time they explain a huge world because it's not like arms and splatoon You can just tell you is a mode coming or a new character is there you can't do that for Xenoblade you have to explain the whole world and the and the secrets and everything like that. So it's gonna take a long time to make people understand how Xenoblade Chronicles is and what it is and make people want to buy it. If Nintendo is nice enough, this is this is like nice, completely nice. I wasn't even gonna explain this as part of my predictions, but I just said, you know what, just add it in. If Nintendo was nice, maybe, just maybe they have the first or two hours of the game in a demo. The first two hours of the game should be the best way to tell people if they want to buy this game or not. It's going to be like the ARMS demo but without a time limit or the Splatoon demo without like connecting the service um, to online to make sure you're playing at the right time. It's just going to be an offline demo you can play like Project Octopath Traveler. It's going to be exactly like that. And the first um, two hours of the game from like 100 hours of gameplay to complete will be pretty decent because it's not going to be like a huge spoiler because the first two hours of the game is a little bit for RPG. It's almost like the Final Fantasy 15 demo for Japan back in the day. I think it was the Judgment demo and it had the first area, the tutorial level to explain the, the, the combat and the car mechanics, 
to drive in different areas and stuff and have an ending of the demo obviously but also Nintendo could leave a huge cliffhanger at the end of the um, demo just like Nier Automata did where their demo back in December I believe it came out and I did play that a lot when it released and it makes you want to care about these characters or something like that it's like oh well this huge cliffhanger something else is gonna happen like I want to know what happened to these characters or something like that and this will make the direct completely perfect to me be but this would be amazing if Nintendo say you could transfer your saves from the demo to the full game on December 1st and if they were gonna do that they probably will hold the demo off for the f until the last 10 days uh, before release because I, myself, I know myself, I've played that demo until I be become level 99 or something before the game release. If it was like a month before release or something, well, it wouldn't be a month. It would be like three weeks before release. I would definitely find a way to be level 100. So I believe that Nintendo might put a... They could even put a time limit on the demo, like after the time limit you just start over or you could save the, the game and it will continue after you get the full game. They could do that or they could say you can't transfer the save at all, but it would have been perfect if they could transfer the save. But well, th that would be like a dream come true. If this predictions actually happen, I'd be a really happy person, completely happy person. All I can ask Nintendo, I am begging you, do not spoil anything past the 10 hour mark. Knowing Nintendo, they will.